So here's an example where you're actually given a lot of information in the question that you don't actually have to find dealing with regression. Um, we have the regression equation, we have the data, we have a lot of inf interesting stuff. Let's go ahead and read through this question and see if we can find some of the higher level concepts that they want us to look for. The table below shows the number of clients visited in a week, the number of units of software sold during the week, and the regression line equation for the two salespersons. For each salesperson, we have four pairs of data representing four weeks. In the long run, both salespersons average the same number of sales. Use the data for salesperson 1 to find the value of the coefficient of determination. So for this, we're going to need to get our calculator out. And as you can see, it's already on stat. We've turned the frequency off, but if you need to go back and do that, check out some of the other videos to see. We're going to hit mode and go into stat. Now, because this is not a one variable statistics, but a two, we're going to select that. So we have X and Y. So I'm going to do 10, 10, 20, 20. And then for my Y value, 23, 27, 44, and 46. So we're looking specifically for R squared. And this is salesperson one. So to find R squared, we have to do shift one and then we go into regression. We can only find R, so in order to find R squared, we have to hit the squared button. And we find R squared is a very high 0 0.9, oops, sorry, 0 0.98. In other words, 98% can be determined. This is a very, very, very high number. Okay, so let's do the same with salesperson two. As you can see, they also have the same regression equation. So we're going to go shift 1 and we're just going to change our data. We have 10, 10, 20, 20. So the only thing we need to change is y. 10, 40, 25, and 65. Once again, we're going to go in and we're going to find r, but square it. And for salesperson 2, we find r squared is 0 0.24. In other words, we can depend on that regression equation about 24% of the time to be correct. We want to find the predicted value for the number of software units sold in a given week given that x equals 11 customers are visited using the regression equation. Now they actually tell us in both cases we get 27 units. So we actually know the answer to the regression equation. What they're asking about is which prediction is likely to be good. Explain your answer. We expect salesperson 1 to be the best answer because 98% of the data can be determined using the equation. So salesperson 1, 98% is what we're looking at.